Okay, what the project is about, it's about acknowledging the fact that nurses work under very stressful conditions and uh, what we what we want to do about that, but that's, that's an issue that's been recognised. If you look back in the literature for decades, there's acknowledgement that nursing is a very stressful profession and that that leads to problems with recruitment and retention. And what we're hoping to do is to actually get some simple, some simple strategies to help deal with that, rather than just being another project that identifies the problem, to actually have some strategies. Another thing I think that's a bit um, individual about our project is that we're looking at, at mental health as well as physical health. So we're not just wanting to do some things to promote physical health in nurses. We want, the, we want to encourage them to think about mental health, to think about the importance of mental health and hopefully to develop some very simple strategies that they can, that they can use in the workplace and become a part of the workplace so that they can um, de-stress themselves and also have a role in supporting the, the mental health of their colleagues. Nurses are very busy people. Their whole uh, profession is based on caring for people and that tends to be paramount. So the care of their patients is paramount and they think a lot more about their um, needs than they do their own individual needs. So I think getting nurses to recognise it's actually okay, it's okay to acknowledge the fact that you're stressed and that you need to do something about it. It's much, much more difficult than it sounds. I believe it's because there's more intensive patients coming into the hospital uh, lately and make the job uh, very stressful. And the role uh, nurses have been in, uh, involved is getting more and more important and more difficult. And uh, we will pass the message on um, to the people who are not here today and uh, to helping them um, to deal with the stress better. Look, I think that's really important. Um, our day changes so quickly. By every minute, every hour, we have admissions coming to our wards, we have discharges coming to our wards, we have patients ringing buzzers, we have other health professionals wanting our attention. It's really important to make sure that that's balanced and that we take time and we do take stock to just prioritise what we're doing. If we can't manage the workloads, to look at your other resources in regards to other workers that you're working with and um, see if they can assist or delegate some of that care also, you know, we don't have to do everything at once. Oh, look, essentially nurses are an um, integral part of a team along with a number of other health professionals. We have administration staff, we have doctors, we have allied health and we have our um, patient of course and at times just an explanation to the patient about what you need to do and that there may be a degree of waiting. They're, they're reasonable people, they want to share um, and make sure that they get good care as well. So taking stop and depending on other people is very important. Uh, yeah, we're delighted, I suppose, to be part of the study. Um, many of us are involved in this sort of work anyway. We're obviously very concerned about the um, stress in the work workforce, particularly at the moment. We've had a lot of additional stress with uh, the payroll problems. Uh, we've got staff, of course, who are working long hours, working multiple shifts. Um, there's always issues about workload and, uh, and the sort of pressure they're under. So uh, a research project like this may be some very fr fruitful um, ideas come out of it for us. I think the intention here is to, well, we've done some original focus groups to see what the issues are and I think the intention now is to get people signed up and we're going to be doing some, some detailed research that will show changes over time with some of the interventions that we're hoping to bring in and, and trial with the, with the group. I'm sure that you know, that's why um, the Queensland Nursing Council, when it existed, um, still uh, supported this because it obviously has the potential to be worldwide. We don't think the Rocky is unique in that sense in the issues that we have here, and, um, but I think we're very um, uh, lucky to be able to engage with the university at this level.